Let's just you go to the next separate one. sides of the, the library. My dad's gonna see this. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. My name is Becky. I'm Ramsey. Hi, I'm Yelena. Hi, I'm Rachel. And we're playing Never Have I Ever Law School Edition. Never have I ever cheated on a test. In law school, I have not. I've thought about it. It's impossible. During those two to four hour exams, you have at least three people walking around looking. Yeah. So it's not. And they wait for you outside of the bathroom and time yeah. you. I'm like a real gutty gutty. Yeah, like same. I feel like by the time I got to law school, I was like, I can miss class, I can do, but it was like, yeah, I just don't. same. I did cheat on an exam once in junior high. Oh, well, high school doesn't count. Never have I ever thought about or actually rage quit law school. I, I don't think I, not rage quit. It's been like, no. very meditative. Like, yeah. I feel like I've thought about it, like in yoga. Yeah, like, yeah. what do I do? But yeah. not, no rage quitting. No. Uh, I have been so angry and so <laughs> upset that I have considered walking out of law school and had it not cost so much money, I might have. I did too, but then I realized that I didn't have scholarships, so I needed to be there because I was paying a lot of money for it. Yeah, yeah. It's just normal, that's normal. Never have I ever come to school under the influence. No, I have not. That is, that is a big no. <laughs> Our school was a kind of conservative Christian dry campus. You wouldn't show up to law school under the influence, and certainly not, yeah. certainly not at the school that we went to. Does bar prep count? Drinks are cheaper during the week. As a law student, you're a law student, you are broke. So you go out and take advantage of those happy hours. Uh, I had my first hangover during bar prep and came in still kind of drunk, throwing up on the basement in the bathroom of the basement of a Korean church. Never have I ever dated another lawyer person in law. All my boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone on dates with people. Yeah. It's not been something that I thought I would ever do because it's yeah. like you're around them all the time. Yeah. It kind of becomes incestuous. I think it resulted in like more arguments than anything. Yeah. Because it's like you both like take different yeah. stances on whatever, Second yeah. Amendment. What's your definition of dating? I have had relations with a lawyer who did go to law school at the same time as us. Okay, more than one, now that I think well, about it. Well, never hurt nobody. Yeah. And then when it's all Let's done. Let's go to the next one. Let's just go to the next one. separate sides of the, the library. My dad's gonna see this. <laughs> Sorry, never. dad. Never have I ever fallen asleep in class. No, I haven't. I haven't. Not during law school. I have. Sometimes those professors get up there and they're just like, today, we're going to talk about civil procedure. And I'm just like, oh I my love God. civil procedure. <laughs> not everything's exciting. Never have I ever failed an exam. Not, no. I'm not. There are some exams maybe I didn't do that well on. Yeah. If you fail no. one, I mean, the thing that scared me was you would have to retake it. Not in law school. No, that's not an option. Your entire you grade yeah. is that one exam at the end of the semester. So there's no other like things to hold you up. And it's something like, oh, can I make up extra credit? Like, no, there yeah. is none of that. They're like, you're going to take this class again, and then you're going to be put on academic probation. Yeah, or you, they just ask you to leave the school. Never have I ever thought I made the wrong decision about going into law school. I have thought that I made the wrong decision by going to law school, and some days I still think that. I mean, I think I have. Uh, do you have? You haven't. My dad was an attorney, so when I was younger, you know, I used to watch him go with this like briefcase, and he looked very important. Growing up, I did like acting a little, so I kind of thought it would be like in the courtroom. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah. ladies and gentlemen of the jury type thing. So I think once I made my decision, I, I stuck with it. Um, law school itself is very hard. It involves a lot of tears. Being I a had lawyer, that decision at yeah. least once a week. Yeah, being a lawyer is very hard. It still involves a lot of tears. So yeah, I definitely sometimes wonder how different my life would be if I didn't go. Never have I ever had to pull an all-nighter. Pretty much every class. I, every, yeah. class every class. Every class. Yeah. 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 I used to because I was on the moot court team and I had friends on Law Review and Law Journal and so I used to collect keys to the offices through campus mm -hmm. so I could sleep on, on campus. I had spent, I would take nights off of law school. Like there were nights where I'm like, well, you know, I'm just not gonna do the reading tonight because I didn't oh, need to go like, out. Oh, like you ever pulled an all-nighter for study? Yeah, when okay. I had those two nights of going out oh. and then I was like, okay, I'm a little behind now. Maybe I should like catch up and much to my detriment, I would spend all night reading and catching yeah. up. Never have I ever thought I was going to fail after 1L, which is first year. I have not after 1L. During, after our first semester, I went home to Arizona and I was getting my hair done and my hair girl found bald patches from stress. I went to the bar I worked at and asked my old manager if I could have my job back. 
uh, in case I failed out. Yeah. But then after those grades came in and after second semester's grades came in, my GPA was at a point that I knew it would be more difficult to fail out than not. Once you get through the first year, you pretty much like know how to do law school after that. I was like, every time we got any grade back. Yeah. It's on a curve, right? Yeah. So it's a constant competition. Every time final set in, it was oh, really? like, I knew that curve <laughs> was gonna bite me in the ass. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> it's, like, I guess it's like a worry. Every, yeah. every time final so season rolls around. Yeah. Never have I ever gone out drinking with friends after we all thought we failed an important exam. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing. Dancing, karaoke. Dream karaoke. Something. Anything to forget about the misery. I, I like, after an exam, okay. So your minimum exam is two hours and they can be up to four hours straight. I was always so genuinely emotionally and physically exhausted that even if I wanted to, like, I just wanted to go home and sleep. Opposite. I'm glad we were able to share our experiences. You don't have to ace law school to get a job. Everyone has their own experience with law school. Mm -hmm. It's and it's different in every yeah. state. It's different for every person. It's different by school. Mm -hmm. And you should never feel pressured to do it someone else's way. Mm -hmm.